Hey guys, these are some of my favorite videos when we talk about why things are the way they are. Okay, so we're going to talk about why the area of a trapezoid is one half times the height times the first base plus the second base. I said that very smoothly. You're welcome. All right, so if we go ahead and look at a trapezoid here. Now, not all trapezoids look exactly like this, but this is a, this is a good looking one, right? Let's go ahead and label these things. So my height is from one base to the other, kind of like this. And we have, it needs to be a right angle, okay? That is my height, all right? Now I have the two bases, base one and base two, okay? So if you're looking at this and you're like, okay, so why if I add those two together, multiply by that and then times by half, why does that give me the area, right? Well, I want you to picture for a minute taking this same trapezoid, duplicating it, and turning it upside down and putting it right here. Guess what? You don't even have to imagine because I just did it. All right. So this is the same trapezoid. We flipped it around and put them together. And guys, what shape is this? If you ignore this line here, it's a parallelogram, right? Tell me I'm wrong, but I'm not. So it's a parallelogram, right? So if you were to take, this is my base one, right? Base two, base one, base two, and my height, right? Well, guess what happens if I do base one plus base two and multiply it by the height? I'm going to get the area of this whole parallelogram, right? But I don't want the area of the parallelogram. I want the area of the trapezoid, which is exactly half of that parallelogram. What? Is that the best? That is why this is the formula for the area of a trapezoid. All right, I will link some other area videos if you need them. Thanks.